Hello everyone, welcome to my channel in School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come with a very amazing problem on AC circuit. And here we are going to use M greater than GM uh, inequality. Guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and it is based on parallel AC circuits. My current course is on uh, Unacademy, uh, our course of Iron Pitch of Foundation and for J Advanced 2023. Currently, we will be starting circular motion and work power energy in this. And there is uh, Emerge Batch for uh, J Advanced 2023. And in this, Kinematics will be starting in the first week of uh, July. And uh, currently we are doing advanced problem solving for J Advanced 2021 and advanced courses for J 2022 uh, is already going in uh, Hindi in RM batch and currently there is a course on rotational mechanics uh, and it is uh, already going on. So you can access my theory courses of last year which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your J preparation. You can unlock these courses on Unacademy using my code Nitin sir. And for more info, you can visit www.unacademy.com. And guys, trust me, physics will never be the same again. So here is a uh, problem statement. There is an AC circuit with the two identical inductors of inductance L and uh, identical voltmeters V. Each with resistance of R is connected to an AC source of uh, peak voltage V0 and variable frequency F0 as shown in the figure. Find the frequency for which reading of voltmeter will be maximum. And uh, if the maximum reading value of voltmeter is VB max, then the value of VB max, uh, V0 by VB max will be. So assume that the source voltage is expressed as V is equal to V0 2 pi sine of 2 pi F0 T. So this is the circuit given. Let's discuss the concept part. Uh, in phasor wise or complex number wise, R phasor I can write R angle 0. It is along the real axis uh, or just simply R. And this XL phasor will be uh, omega L angle pi by 2 or you can say it is along the complex axis. So J omega L I can write where J square is minus 1. So once we are dealing with the resistances in uh, complex form, so simply we can write Z series as Z1 plus Z2. And in parallel I can write as uh, Z1, Z2 by Z1 plus Z2. All right. Uh, so here in this circuit, you can see uh, the voltmeter resistance. I can treat this as uh, R and this is uh, J omega L and both are in uh, series. So impedance of this part will be Z1 and that is uh, R plus J omega L. Similarly, these two are in parallel here and this resistance is R purely resistive and here uh, omega L uh, we are taking or XL. So when I take uh, overall uh, impedance of this branch, I'm going to get Z2 as uh, J omega L R by R plus J omega L. So here and this unit and this unit both are in series. So total impedance of the circuit is given by Z1 phasor plus Z2 phasor. And uh, I can write this as Z1 value as R plus J omega L and uh, this is J omega L R by R plus J omega L. So once I know this uh, total uh, Z, I can write the current phasor here, which is V phasor by Z phasor. So V phasor I can write as V naught angle zero, V naught angle zero. So reading of voltmeter here, I'm, uh, what I'm doing is, uh, see one method would have been uh, current in this uh, voltmeter times uh, voltage uh, times resistance R or current in this branch I2 times uh, XL in uh, complex form. So instead of the, uh, this, I can directly do that because it is in parallel here. So total current times uh, Z of this. That will save some time for me. So reading of VB will be total current times uh, Z of that parallel uh, combination. So when I simplify this, uh, I can just uh, write this as V0 angle 0 and it will have same phase as uh, Z2 phasor by Z phasor. So when I substitute the value of Z2, j omega l r and r plus j omega l and uh, this will become uh, r plus j omega l plus j omega l r by r plus j omega l when i simplify this i'll be getting uh, v naught and here you can see this uh, r plus j omega l and this will get cancelled and this will become whole square so in the denominator r plus j omega l whole square plus j omega l r further on simplification i am going to get this as uh, VB is equal to, I'm just rearranging all these uh, terms, dividing this equation with the J omega L R. So in the numerator only V naught will come and here we will get 3 plus uh, some complex number. If I take this J uh, above or you can say here I'm multiplying with the J in the numerator and denominator. So J square becomes minus 1. 
सो वी बी बिकम्स वी नॉट बाई थ्री प्लस जे ओमेगा स्क्वायर एल स्क्वायर माइनस आर स्क्वायर बाई ओमेगा एल आर और फर्दर यू कैन जस्ट राइट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इट सो दिस इज ए कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड इज गिवन बाई रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर सो इन दैट फॉर्म वेन आई राइट आई कैन डायरेक्टली कमेंट एक्चुअली फ्रॉम हियर द मैक्सिम वैल्यू ऑफ वी बी बिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल टू जीरो right so from here vb max i'll get when this is zero when this is minimum denominator is minimum vb is maximum so vb max actually i'm going to get v not by 3 or just by rearranging you can see here omega l by r minus r by omega l whole square i'm getting here and the corresponding frequency also i'll be getting from here and that is omega is equal to r by l just to be uh, sure here that i am not getting any other frequency i'll further simplify this because sometimes it happens in uh, uh, complex numbers in this circuits we may get uh, multiple frequencies as well so i'm just rearranging this term and uh, opening this part so here minus 2 will come so if i adjust here this will become 7 and this uh, is omega square l square by r square plus uh, r square by omega square l square here itself uh, you can see i can use the am greater than gm and this value will be omega square l square by r square plus r square by omega square l square is always greater than or equal to 2 uh, which gives me the same answer what i was getting directly from here so there is no problem at all and most likely we are not going to get any other frequency because uh, when i substitute uh, these two values equal because equality holds for uh, when this number is equal to this number i am going to get only one unique frequency which is uh, r by l so vb max is v not by 3 and uh, that ratio you can say v not by vb max is going to be 3 which is going to be the answer for this problem i hope guys you have enjoyed this video and uh, uh this would have brought some uh, nice concepts in your mind in case if you are not using uh, parallel circuits because most many students they avoid uh, parallel ac circuits but uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, very much possible that uh, they may give parallel circuits also in the past they have done that and uh, in, you never know that uh, again such type of problems may appear in the exam thank you thanks for watching it if you have enjoyed it please uh, leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem thank you thanks for watching it